Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Have you watched our last video? Which describes the function of our visitor management app. If you are not, we highly recommend that you may watch it first. The link is shared at the top right corner. In this video, we will go through the data setting. To proceed with this, you may download the Google Sheet template that we shared in the last video. You may find it in the comment section, we pin it at the top. Alright, let's start the workshop today. In this app, we have two tables. The in-house staff table and the visitor table. Let's check the in-house staff table first. There are six columns in this table with one virtual column. Set the record ID column as shown. Set the staff ID column as shown. Set the name column as shown. Set the contact number column as shown. Set the group column as shown. Set the email column as shown. The last column is a virtual column, which will auto created by app sheet. All right, in-house staff table is ready. Let's proceed to visitor table. Set the record ID column as shown. Set the name column as shown. Set the ID image column as shown. Set the ID column as shown. Set the contact number column as shown. Set the email column as shown. Set the visiting person column as shown. The data is sourced from a read-only slice. It's C because we don't want the guard to add new visiting person from the drop-down list. Let's check the slice first. Set the slice as shown. Alright, let's continue with the next column for visitor table. Set the visiting purpose column as shown. Set the picture in column as shown. Set the signature in column as shown. Set the date time in column as shown. Set the picture out column as shown. This column is only shown if the status is visited. Set the picture out column as shown. This column is only shown if status is visited. Set the date time out column as shown.
set the status column as shown. Lastly, create a virtual column as shown. Alright, data is ready, let's proceed to create the slice. Just now we have to go through the setting for the in-house staff slice. Now, let's proceed the slices for visitor table. The first slice is used for the visiting person's dashboard. Set the slice as shown. Next slice is for the guard's dashboard. Set the slice as shown. Next slice is for the guard's visitor log book. Set the slice as shown. Next slice is for the visiting person's visitor log book. Set the slice as shown. Alright, all data and slices is ready. In next video, we will continue the action and user interface. We end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.